We worked with our client who's colorblind to create a custom scheme for their Angron that they can enjoy. This Angron's been painted by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege, who's worked through some really great colors to create a very remarkable version of Angron. So let's jump in and have a look at this awesome Angron Primark of the World Eaters that's been painted in a very limited palette to allow our client who's colorblind to perceive all the values that are on the model. Angron from the get-go, what a phenomenal model, truly, truly aggressive. The pose in itself is probably one of my favorite things, just how aggressive and angular it is. Um, and it has multiple golden angles as you rotate the model, which I think is a really good uh, sort of uh, design cue. Uh, so I know Daz, who obviously designed it, done a lot of thought into how the, uh, the model is gonna be sort of viewed at different angles and also on the tabletop. Uh, really sort of instantly under a readable sort of silhouette as well, which I think is just brilliant. Um, so to jump in straight away, let's start with the, the base. Obviously we've gone for like a sort of fiery, fiery kind of like magma world, which uh, from sort of having sort of consultations with our client, um, those colors and tones really sort of work for our client. And uh, again, with the, with the purple that's been used on the model, they just contrast really nicely also. Um, gone for sort of a real neutral kind of gray sort of tone with the rock. We've got lots of obviously skulls on the base that are sculpted as you can see there. Um, Again, it's just something that uh, really adds that sort of uh, really aggressive uh, sort of slayer of all kind of uh, uh, sort of vibe to the model. Um, to go with the really vibrant sort of base that we've got, uh, we've got a really desaturated uh, sort of uh, armor. So the metallics that have been used are quite dark. Um, just to, to allow the contrast with the, the, the purplish tones that are on the skin. Uh, and that just helps for visibility of different details and also really just makes the, the skin stand out hugely in contrast uh, massively to the rest of the model. Um, verdigris has been used sparingly on the armor as well. So you've got that nice teal and darker sort of blue tones as well, just again, to, to really contrast with the orange that's on the model and also add a bit of interest to, alongside the purple. Um, the weapons themselves, again, done in those darker metallics just to really sort of make them sort of instantly recognizable uh, and just add a little bit of a sort of a more grim dark kind of vibe to the model as well which i think is just great um again not not loads of blood effects on this one as well just obviously just because of colorization we just didn't want to put too much red on the model the only uh nod to the corn sort of red uh, sort of tones and hues has been done very sparingly and not so that it's too overpowering on the model both visually uh, so we've had a bit of a reddish hue onto the blade but nothing too too sort of crazy uh it's just really really kind of, kind of soft and subtle which i think is great so we've got the really aggressive face of Angron, that lovely sculpted detail, all those teeth, the tongue sticking out, and the uh, sort of real haunch uh, sort of uh, pose, which just emphasizes that aggression that the face is conveying. Um, do really like the little details that are on there. All the butcher's nail is painted in the dark metallics as well. Uh, and then we've got the, the really cool uh, black wings, uh, which I think just instantly makes them visible uh, against the rest of the palette and the colors that are on the model. Um, we've got some striations and things just highlighted up with some lighter sort of neutral grays as well, just to contrast the black and, and make those striations instantly visible against the darker colors that are used on there also. Uh, overall, a phenomenal model that Ben has done a great job working with a much reduced palette to just sort of section out all the different aspects of detail detailed on the miniature. Um, this is a sort of project that we absolutely love working on, it's something a little bit different. Um, sort of custom schemes are always fun to work on for, for our clients, especially in, in a situation like this where a limited palette helps our client enjoy the model that they're having done by us even more so. So I do hope you like the model ever so much. If you're interested in getting your character painted by us here at Siege, then don't hesitate in going to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form that's on the Siege website. Whether it's a character, army, small force, or whatever faction or game system you're looking to get painted, do get in touch with us. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, give the video a like. Also, if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel to help us out and also keep up to date with all of the videos that we do put out here on the channel. From all the team and myself here at Siege, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.